Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome entry-level motorhome. Perfect for the first-time motorhome buyer that is also great for state and national parks. This is the 2023 East to West Entrada Model 2600 DS. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about the Entrada and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you this awesome, perfect length motorhome for any beginner, the Entrada. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, you're not Andrea, you're Jen. Hey guys. You're Will's wife. Yes, I am. If you guys don't know, I'm Will's wife from the Towable channel. And you edit the show. Yes, I edit all the videos, so I'm kind of like the behind the scenes person doing everything for the channel. Now Jen, you had a big announcement yesterday on your YouTube channel, Will and Jen, what was that? So Will and I just got a brand new fifth wheel. It's the Alliance Paradigm 382 RK. So we're super excited about it. And we did a full review on the Towable channel yesterday and also on our channel. I know on the Towable channel tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes, um, yes. On our channel yesterday. So make sure you check both those videos out. And if you guys like watching adventures, Will and Jen traveling internationally and nationally in their RV, and sometimes they have this handsome fellow on the show, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to their YouTube yes, channel. please, thank you. But if you don't like that stuff, don't subscribe to it. Right. If you don't like it, don't watch. If you don't, if you don't like it, don't, just don't watch. Right. But everybody subscribe to this channel. Jen, model is 2600 DS Entrada. The actual tip tip length is 29 feet, four inches. I absolutely love this motor home. We got to demo a 2900 DS for six months. It was absolutely fantastic. Jen, you slept in it. Yes. You, me, and Will, we went to the Daytona, no. um, The Poconos. Poconos, and we were boondocking in it with the generator. Yep. It was fan-freaking-tastic. We made it work. We made it work. <laughs> hey, it was fantastic. Jen's like, we made it work. <laughs> right up front here, we do have a nice fiberglass front bra and the bunk over the cab. So it's not seamless, but it's also not the cheaper one. It does lap over right there. This is powered by an E450 chassis, which means it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Jen, they're the hand cook. You love those. Dynapro. Dynapro. <laughs> LT 225-75R16. Jen, are you sure you even edit the videos? I like know, you should know I that. Know. Dude, it's everybody been a while. At, everybody at home screamed Dynapro and I'm you so didn't. Sorry. You got the nice shiny rims right there. Right here, Jen, nice big mirrors, okay? But there's no cameras in the mirrors. The cameras are down there. Now, by the way, guys, when I give you guys my three likes and three dislikes, preferably my dislikes, it's gonna be based off of my ownership experience of having the 2900 and I'll tell you guys those dislikes at the end of the video. Coming on down, Jen, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Now, because this is east to west, they do use Asdell. Asdell is a green-based material and it will never delaminate on you. Coming on down here. Whoa, this is weird. Right. Propane. <laughs> you know what that means. We'll put all the specs on the screen, Miss Jen. Bing. Oh, <laughs> you're behind the camera and behind the editing. Yep. That's weird. Thank you for putting all the specs You're on You're very screen. welcome. Right here we got coax and power for the outside. Okay. Here we got some storage. Nice. Very nice. Right here, Jen, we got a black water heater, which I don't like. One, it sticks out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. Two, it's a six gallon DSI water heater. We installed a white Lippert uh, instant hot tankless water heater. And it's not about the color, it's about it just blending into the motorhome. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the Instant Hot, they had that on their avenue. Works fantastic, and I'm pretty sure they'll be getting it on their Paradigm. Yeah, right there, we got a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. Oh, snap. And guys, this week is uh, Ocala RV Show Week. March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. We will be at the Ocala horse park at the RV show, the second, third, and fourth. Make sure you guys visit us there. We're gonna have all these units here and we have this, bing, special Matt's cash. Jen, that's the Ocala show Matt's cash. Right. Uh, we Never will not- you ride a horse like that. <laughs> right, well, that is the way, I mean, that's an exact representation right. of me riding a horse. <laughs> and um, we will not be there Sunday, but 
Make sure you guys subscribe. Guys, we're gonna blow that show out of the water. It's gonna be fan freaking tastic. Jen, womp womp. No ladder to get up on the roof. There's a backup camera there integrated in the rear tail light. 7,500 pound hitch. Now this motorhome, I'm not saying you can tow that. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you have to... Know before you tow. Yes, ma'am. Doing good, Jen. I do fin watch it a few times. Yes, finishing up. Right over here, we got some storage here. City water connection, black tank flush. East to West Gen, also East to West Entradas has a Facebook group. East to West Entrada owners. There's your sewer dump right there. Mm -hmm. I recommend everybody join that group if they're considering making a purchase of one of these. Cable, 30 amp service, um, fuel fill up there. Right over here, Jen, a little bit more storage because you can yes. never have enough. Yes, ma'am. Right over here. Big storage. Yes, ma'am. And then here is the Yamaha 4500 generator. Very nice. That's what you guys had too, right? Yes, man. No, we had the 55. Okay. Well, Jen, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. I get to see the skip in person. All right, don't forget that cargo. Oh yeah, thank you, Jack. Because I always forget, there's the driver's area. Plenty of space to walk through with the slide in. No problem at all. You can still, oh no, it is a tilt-up bed. And then your bathroom in the corner here. Okay. Yes. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,771 pounds, which is a big improvement from the 2022 yeah. Entrada. Because if you remember, that sat on the E350 chassis. This year, it's on the E450 nice. chassis. So big upgrade there. Uh, that's great for the cargo carrying capacity. Let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode while we get the slide outs out. Do you love your pet as much as we do? Do you agree that they deserve the best? Then you need to check out Waggle, the best RV pet monitoring system. Waggle's a top-notch pet temperature monitor. It's made just for your pooch. Whether you're traveling in an RV or staying at home, you can assure your pet is safe with Waggle in three easy steps. Install Waggle in your RV, track it by downloading the app, and get peace of mind on your app when you're out on your adventure. And what's more is Waggle also gives you real-time updates on your pets. Let's keep your pet safe with the RV Pet Temperature Monitor, trusted by 10,000 pet parents in the RV community. Click our link down below, that takes you to Waggle, and use our promo code MAP for 50% off. The link takes you to a custom landing page where you can get an exclusive offer with our partnership with them. Thanks so much for Waggle for sponsoring this video. Let's continue the video. Jen, now the slide outs are out, what do you think? I actually really like this. I might even like this more than the one that you had, honestly. Interesting, different strokes for different folks. I really like that 2900 floor plan. But let's get started up here. And Miss Jen, would you do us the honors? Oh, sitting course. in this cockpit area. All right. 7.3 liter V8. Hey, how does it feel, young lady? Feels like a big truck. Heck yeah. <laughs> no, it actually feels really nice, though. Like, it feels like driving our truck. Yep. You know? Yep. So, really nice. I think Will would struggle in here, but I'm fine. Yep, Will would struggle. You know, bigger, you know, when, when, when you're 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", you know, these cockpit areas do get very tight. Yep. You got your power windows over there. Yep. Raw, uh, the new 7.3 liter V8. Right here, Bluetooth. Sirius XM, cameras and everything, cup holders, what else you got going on? I just want to say I like how even on your side you can put the seat back, there's nothing behind you. Yeah, you now when the slide back. out's in, it, you can't go all the way down, oh but you're the driver, but right. you can still recline a good amount. Right. Over here, Miss Jen, I got plenty of leg space as the passenger. You know, again, the E-Series is a little tight. You got your cup holders here, power windows and everything. Everything's very nice. Now we're going to do this kick that AC on yeah. as we check out the bunk over the cab. Now while you're coming out, Jen, do you know how much this bunk over the cab holds? Um, I'm gonna guess 500 pounds. You're gonna guess right, it is yeah. 500 pounds. 500 pounds in the bunk over the cab. Right over here we have little cubbies with little nooks, USB, little phone holders, cup holders, and two windows on both sides. Very, very nice. Over here, Jen, we have nice storage above. 
all white cabinetry with the black handles. Nice. How do you like the way that looks? I like that a lot. I think it looks it's really clean. good. It is clean. And again, this is an entry level motorhome. So for it to still look really good, yeah. it's awesome. Right here we have these privacy blinds. And let's take a look at these valances. Approved. Bing. Oh, that's the gen valance approval. USB right here and power right there. Very nice. And then Jim, we have a dinette right here. Look at this. Storage oh, wow. underneath there. That. Storage underneath here. This is a very nice dinette with power and USB. Those were closed, slow closed close, um, doors. Yes. Nice. And then this does drop down to make a bed. You know, um, nice big windows here. Non frameless windows, Jen. But I like how much you can open oh, yeah. these windows. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? You get a big cross breeze here. You really, really do. And then coming on down there, uh, we do have the TV right here with storage that Jen will show when she shows the kitchen. And it is across from the sofa area. This is the sofa. This is the same sofa that we had. Um, it jackknifes down, it doesn't pull out. And it's really like, it's kind of a smaller sofa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but what was frustrating for me was I could never sit here and Yuna lay down. Yeah. It needed to be about six inches wider. Yeah. You know, from the way we camped. Right over here. Oh, that's weird. That's the storage from the outside nice. that you can get to from the inside. Nice. Cup holders there, cup holders there. Another huge window right here. More power in USB. Yes. More storage. And then look at that storage. Lots of storage in here, actually. It really is. And speaking of lots of storage, there's even more storage over in the kitchen area. Jen, why don't you show us? All right, so I'll start on the side. So first thing you see when you come in is this nice big Everchill fridge. This wow. Is compressor fridge. Wow. Now, Jen, do you notice something huge about this fridge? Um, no. You don't know it? No, I don't. Watch out. Okay. Leave it open. You ready for this? I'm ready. Back up. Okay. Back up. I know a thing. You ready? Okay. Oh, dang. Oh, snap. that's cool, that right? That is cool. Because, you know, before, when I opened it that way, yeah. I, I, I probably made that my dislike. So I'm like, you have to come around here. Right, that's right. really nice. Because, like, if you're outside and yep. you want to grab a drink, you know, you just kind of Or if you're driving and you just want to grab a right. beer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We do not recommend. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. <laughs> Continue on. Okay. Here we have a big storage door. Yeah. Lots of storage up there. Um, oops. You got a, what is this? Three burner stove oh, top. Um, yeah, propane cooktop, and then they put the microwave as. So this is probably a convection. Yeah, okay. a convection microwave. Which is kind of nice because the ovens don't work that great. So more storage up here. Yes, ma'am. And then behind the TV. Wow. Lots of storage back there. Huge. I like how easy this is to open like a door. Um, you got a window here. Behind your kitchen sink, nice pull down faucet. Yes, ma'am. Big uh, kitchen sink, but one bowl. You got some storage. This has a lot of storage for the size of it. Tons of countertop space. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got outlet and USB here. Okay. And then down here, we have four drawers, actually. Oh, yeah. Right there. And there's your last one there. Perfect. And then, surprisingly, you even get a little pantry. Wow. This isn't as big as the pantry you had, but it's still nice that you have it. Very nice. You know, something's definitely better than nothing. Yeah. And then over here, this could count yeah. as pantry or right. bedroom storage. Yeah, because if you have, if you don't have a lot of clothes oh, hang on, stuff, I didn't get the bottom. Oh, sorry. Yep. If you don't have a lot of clothes and stuff, you might want to use this for free. You got, I don't know, not super deep drawers, but two drawers here. I mean, it's multi-use space. Yes. And again, you have to you have to do that on a motorhome this size to achieve that um, length of 29 feet 4 inch. Right. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now, now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You got that down. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is stock number 277339. It's $122,219, Jen. MSRP. We have it currently 26% off to a sale price of $89,999. That is fan freaking fantastic. But Jen, I know we can get everybody a lot better price than that. So if you're interested, go to generalrv.com slash Link down in the YouTube description below. 
Get there from our website, mattsrvreviews.com, which Jen built, or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us anyway, or more importantly, if you're watching this and the video just went live March 1st or February 27th, yeah. whatever day it is, guys, the Ocala RV Show is this weekend coming up, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th at the Ocala Horse Park. Guys, I promise you, if you're looking to buy a motorhome, come here, find me, find Will, find Jen, find Andrea. We will be handing out Matt's cash, and I promise you, we will be giving everybody the absolute best price in America. That's right. Here we are, red, white, and blue. Jen, we're over here in the bedroom. Oh, oh, oh wow, okay, huge so that, storage. So that, that probably is more meant to be your pantry. I mean, it's flex space yeah. because you got a huge That's storage like, here. Yeah. So you got closet hanging up there. Yep. Um, right here you have that. Little cubby. I mean, Jen, um, I don't know how to say this, but Andrea would need both. Right. For her I might. wardrobe. Yeah. I would have to get rid of a lot of my clothes to. to I mean, I mean, this. if we're being truthful, I mean, this is all Andreas. This is Andreas. This, 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 this is Andrea, and that's Andrea's, and, and that's yours, and that's mine. What? Where? Oh, just up in that cubby. Yeah, just in the cubby. That's mine. I mean, if we're being honest right. with each other. Okay. In the bedroom, queen size bed, flip up bed. Unfortunately, it is what it is. When you want to have an RV this short, you do need to have the flip up bed. Right over here, we got windows right here, here, and here. Nice. And then we got the rear window right there. Did you have a king size bed in this? We, no, we had a queen. Okay. But our bed didn't fold, so we were able to get the RVmattress.com nice. promo code match. And then there's also like this side table thing and some power yes. outlets down there. Yes. Very nice. And then Jen, I know you're not Will, yeah. but you're a representation of Will. Okay. So stand in that shower. It's not the tall test, but it's something. Well, here's what I will say. Will ain't that tall. No. That's tall. Yeah, so it's not really big this way. Nope, nope. But the height is good. Yeah. Mm. I don't think he would pass it. I don't think he, I think he'd be outside of the shower here. I'm not gonna pass this. Womp, womp. But it's I okay. am impressed with the height. The height is very yeah. good. Yeah. All right, let me. Right over here? No, show the sink, oh, okay. show the sink. Hey! Hey! Liquefied, our brand of RV toilet yes. treatment. Now available on Amazon. On Amazon, and hey, big shout out to Todd from the NRVTA. He did a side-by-side -side comparison against Unique and Jen. Just watch it, you gotta watch it. You gotta side. watch it. I, see, was really, see, I was really impressed with it, I have to say. You know, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult, but everybody was like, wow, Matt. Your product actually does work well, and it's so just Matt like Matt wasn't didn't have like uh, beakers and stuff making this in his garage, but we got Century Chemical. Yeah, we partnered with. Yes. Oh, so a lot of people think I'm like making this stuff in my garage. No, we partnered with somebody who's been doing this for 97 years. Yeah, and they did which a great job. is amazing. Yeah, so you got all that experience coming to you. Nice uh, one bowl sink, and then lots of storage. Right, I'm making a mess in here. Yes, ma'am. Lots of storage. Right, let me switch with you now. All right, over here, Jen. Porcelain. Okay. This is more of a prime pooping position. Prime pooping position. It's more of a prime pooping position over the 2900 DS. But unfortunately, where my foot lays here, oh, it yeah. would be where the door is. So unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. But again, it was more of a disappointment in the 2900. Yeah. With this, it's compromises to stay under 30 feet for state and national park approval. Yep. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Jen, what do we do first? Let's do dislikes first. My first one's outside. Jen, dislike number one for me, one of my favorite features was the fact that the motorhome was 50 amp unit. Um, this one being the smaller one, it's only 30 amp. I'm not a huge fan of that. And listen, every Class C out there is 30 amps. So if this was any other brand, that wouldn't be my dislike. But because you can get 50 amp on the bigger ones, I want 50 amp on all of them. Right. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? Dislike number two, I'm going to have to say, is the small couch. What about it? Well, I didn't like it in yours. It just, like you said, it just kind of feels tight. And I wish that they could have 
you know, or like it would have been nice to get maybe theater seats too, or just at least a bigger couch. Something like yeah. let like lay down on it, plank on it for right, everybody. So I'm saying like I don't like know, you can't even plank adult, on it. Adult couldn't really sleep here. Like my head's on the arm. And right. My head's on the arm. Right, and we're small adults. Right. Let alone big adults. Right. Like Will, he could that, not sleep on that. Right. That's dislike number two, and then Jen, dislike number three for me is going to be the bed. Yeah. Fold up. How, yeah. What, what, oh, I was pointing to it. What, what, what do you think? Just the fact that you can't use it when you're going down the road. Yep. You know? It kind of sucks. And you can't upgrade the mattress in it because it's a folding one. There it is, Jen. There it is. Promo and code. <laughs> <laughs> you better not say promo, promo code. You better not say what, what, what promo code are you saying? Well, then Jen for twenty percent. No, 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 no. <laughs> promo code Matt. <laughs> well, Jen, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. What do you want to say first? My big like in here is the kitchen. Talk to me. I think it's a really good sized kitchen for how small the class C this is. I love the office, refrigerator. Yeah, the fridge, yep. How that opens both ways. I think they just kind of knocked it out of the park. It's got a lot of storage, tons of countertop space. They did a great job. You don't have to worry about like filling in the sink to really have room to prep. You have tons of prep here, so. They did a great job. That's number one. Yep. Jen, number two for me is going to be the way it looks in here. If if you weren't an RV expert, right, and I told you that this was entry level, you wouldn't believe me. This looks very nice. I don't want to say it looks high end, level end, but it doesn't look entry level. It's a good look, clean look, yep. very beautifully designed in here. That's number two. And then you ready for number three? I'm ready. E450 chassis. Yeah. Last year, it was like 800 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. And I remember I called east to west and I said, hey, Tony. Tony. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. You can buy me Texas Roadhouse all you want, but you still built the 2600 on an E350. I can't help you, pal. Why are you a New Yorker? Why am I a New Yorker? I talked to them. I'm like, Tony. I know you're trying to get a certain price. You need a higher cargo carrying capacity for us, you know, for the cargo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jen, thank you for joining us yeah. again. Make sure you guys check out Will and Jen's new Alliance Paradigm that they just picked up. I'm going to be reviewing it tomorrow on the Tobles channel. And they're, they revealed it last night on Will and Jen's YouTube channel. And again, if you like their vlog style content, make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make sure you join us at the Ocala RV Show, March 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th in Ocala. And if you're interested in buying an RV anywhere in the freaking world, go to generalrv.com slash Cash. I've linked everything down below. Jen, what say you? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this East to West. Very similar to what Matt had. I actually kind of like the layout a little bit better. So thank you for having me on the Motorhome channel. It was a pleasure to fill in for a video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will see you um, in the next video. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Jen, we'll see you next time.